before the video starts, if you want to win free nitros and free GeForce Now Founders accounts, make sure to go join my Discord server. Link in the description where I'll be hosting loads of giveaways, like maybe every week. I'll be doing loads of giveaways there. Make sure you follow my Twitter so you're updated with everything that I tweet and everything that's going on in my YouTube life. Let's get straight into the video. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix input delay and lag in GeForce Now. This is a highly requested video on my channel since I haven't uploaded one in ages. So I decided I'm going to make one today. Like this video, turn on post notifications, comment if you need help, join my Discord and let's get straight into the video. Make sure to... So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your task bar and you want to right click on task manager. Now you'll see task manager, you want to go over to startup. Once you go to startup, you should see all of these. All of these things that say they have a high impact on your uh, startup, you just want to right click them and press disable. Mine's already says disable because I did it earlier before I started recording this video. But you just want to do it. If anything that's really necessary or important that you need to keep open, make sure you keep that on enabled. For this next step, you want to go over to GeForce Now on your desktop. You want to right click it and press open file location. Once you've done that, you want to go over to the file called geforcenowstreamer.json and then you want to right click it, go on properties and make sure read only is unchecked. You want to press apply and OK if it wasn't. And now you want to open it. Once you open it, you should see two, two texts that you just want to change from false to true. If yours is already on true, then don't worry. You want to put direct text on 11, not 12, because 12 makes your game look utterly disgusting. You do not want that. So make sure that it's on 11 and then you just want to press save. For me, I don't press save because I don't use GeForce now. And you want to go back to properties and you want to click on read only to secure it so they can't make changes. Next, you want to open up this folder that I'm going to leave a link in the description. I'm going to leave credit to the YouTuber who actually made this pack in the description too if you want to subscribe to him. Let it help him reach 3k by the end of July. So first you want to right click this and run as administrator. And then you should see your graphics card somewhere. This is for NVIDIA users most likely. And if you have the MSI option uh, available to uncheck or check, you just want to check that box. Make sure there's a tick in the box. Then once it's checked, you want to put the priority on high. So what I can see what I'm doing and I'm putting it on high. And you want to press apply and then you could just close that and then you're done with that. And you want to go to the second part. Then you just want to open the first thing. It will run into administrator automatically. Then it should pop up the right side of your taskbar. You just want to double click it and it should open. Now, just follow what I do because there's a couple calculations that you have to make sure are accurate and correct. So I have 16 gigs of RAM. So I'm checking if the calculations are accurate to what is shown on the application. And if it is, then I can go ahead and just press start. You want to check the box that's under it because that allows you to... Uh, run it in the background when using Fortnite and this is basically like a better version of timer resolution for those who still use timer resolution I don't use it I use this because it's better and then yeah you're done with the video you can run Fortnite and you can play it if this video helped you make sure to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video peace